Hello, it's Sarah, and I just wanted to share what I've been up to this week. Um, playing more with the FW acrylic ink. I got two more colors at Hobby Lobby. I got the gold, and this is what it is by Dale Rowney. Uh, this is the um, let's see primary colors. But I got this one, which is a C599 at Hobby Lobby, the pearlescent, and this is waterfall green, and it's a pearlescent color. Um, and you know what? I didn't use either of those on these two pages. I used the blue, pink, and yellow, and I would just put it out and then just squirt water on top and let it do its thing and then uh, I blotted a little bit but I did each page separately I didn't go like this um, and I'm just leaving them I just wanted to leave them there and I'll figure out what I'm gonna do later but it's really cool but like I, I could have used gold I didn't do drippage that was all I did I didn't spatter when you spray the water into it it splatters it splashes so there is spatter on here um, I did another th background that I'm not crazy about. This one, I did the same thing, only I used red, blue, and yellow, and I covered the whole page, and then this one I stenciled on top of. Eh, you know, I don't know. I was playing around. I definitely don't like these colors as much. Um, that's my other background that I did. So I think that was it for this. Um, I was just really wanting to see what they did. Um, I also watched a video by, a, a couple of videos by um, Dina Wakely. She has a couple of good ones on YouTube um, that are from her book. I can't remember the name of her book. Um, so I just wanted to paint a few faces. This is Tam's face. This is, I think, the last class she did. Um, it's called Roots and Ground, Wings and Light. And I haven't done this yet. I watched the video, but I didn't try it yet. And it was playing around with a darker skin tone. Um, and I'm really struggling with faces. Like, because the type of acrylic painting I'm used to was not wet on wet. And... Tam definitely does um, wet on wet. She uses uh, a lot of the um, Neocolor 2's and I just ordered um, individual ones from Dick Blick in flesh tones so that I'll be able to at least do what Tam does. This isn't what Tam does. This is just what I was doing. But um, uh, So yeah, I just ordered them. They'll be here tomorrow. Um, and I can't wait because I really want to, this is a piece of watercolor paper and I was just playing around and this is the darker, I pulled just paint, darker colored paints and just sketched a face and uh, painted it and I do not know how to do it, the wet on wet. This one was more trying to do it like Dina Wakely with a dry brush that she doesn't clean off in between colors. And I think I'm going to do a video of me just trying this and show you how difficult of a time I have. <laughs> um, just so you can see, like, what I did. Um, the background was just, this was a piece of paper that I was just sitting around. It had color on it. And I just, I just, I didn't care about any of that. I didn't care about the face even. I just wanted to see if I could do the, um, the painting technique that she was doing. I did use my um, my Marksaw Stabilo paper. This is a dark black pencil that is water soluble. So when you touch it with the paint, or with the yeah, with the wet, you know, either paint or water, it will pull into the to the piece and um, create shadow too. So it's an interesting tool. Um, you know who used this first? It was. Um, Kate Crane when I did um, her class uh, journal soup and it's cool it's cool like it's just a cool tool to have for mixed media but I mean I'm telling you these faces are 
really tricky so then this is my other one and she's absolutely crooked like look how her eye goes this way her head was supposed to be tilted but then her chin went straight so it should be this way but I mean it's it is what it is and I just still painted it this one I tried to do more floating and see if I could control the way it looked based using my old techniques so I drew the face and then I just um painted it in a solid color like probably I think I used toffee like a light kind of skin tone color Caucasian skin and then I just started shading and I used like shading color and went around the edges and just tried to put it where it would be and I mean it is what it's not I mean it's not horrible you can kind of see shading and highlighting and stuff but I really don't know what I'm doing and it's frustrating it's very frustrating to learn new things it can be quite frustrating but these are two totally different people aren't they like I don't know what those type of eyes say like what is she is she she's just kind of chilling I don't know she doesn't look angry but this one kind of looks a little happier I really don't know um <laughs> But it's just been so nice here this week. I haven't been spending any time in my craft room. Um, I did finish my, or I'm up to date on my mixed media morsels. So I did that. And they're not perfect. Like this was the circle page. I'll come in a little bit. Um, oh, my, it's saying charge the battery. So I'm going to try and plug it in while we're working so it doesn't just shut off i think i can do that i love this camera this camera is awesome um all right i'm all plugged in uh but yeah this was the circle page and so in the background we did some circles and then we uh punched out some circles and put circles and then i just had this little um i think it's a um i have this little container i have this one filled with words and I have this one with different, like, um, what are they called? Uh, not die cuts, but like downloadable printables, collage sheets, all different types of stuff. Some stuff is from, um, oh, you know what else I ordered from Dick Blick is their tissue paper, the Blick tissue paper. So I'll talk about that when I get it, um, because that's what, um, who is it? Patty Tolley Parish recommends for like printing out a bunch of things and then using it in collage and when you put daddy vans on top which is this wax furniture polish it'll completely soak into the page but anyway I'll show you that when I get it um, but yeah so I just put this girl on here because she was pink and I put live your life that's one of Tim Holtz's things and a little washi tape so that's kind of cute um, this is just all the other background stuff that's glue collage and then this was a house which I mean it's not even cute I was kind of rushing through it it's it is what it is it's a little house and we collage the whole background and you can't even see that much of it because I put my paint on way too dark um, this is a uh, little birds I think she called it but again she was just doing a basic shape circles and she made these little birds and she put love and a bunch more stuff but at least I got the birdies done and then this was a double spread. I had never tried this before, and I know this is a, a big mixed media technique. A lot of times people do a really busy background, and then they um, mask off, or you can even draw. Like you could just do loops and stuff, and you leave the actual, like you leave that showing through, and you black out the rest, or white, or whatever. And it's a cool, very cool technique. I want to try that in... Um, my, my real art journal so yeah so I'm all caught up with that unless she posted one last night or today oh, my pages are I um, glue all my I glue two pages together so I kind of think some of the glue got on yeah this is just a little um, mini composition book and I'm just doing each little technique in here to have as kind of like a reminder of different techniques. So let me zoom back out. OMG, you know what I'm going to do? 
I'm going to be painting our mailbox. We got a new bit mailbox today, and I'm planning on doing um, very similar to what I did on my notebooks. I did the um, tutorial for, I'm going to pull this down. I have this canvas, so I'm planning on doing something like this. So this is a big canvas. This is probably 24 by 12, 12 by 24. And I think my mailbox is going to be very similar. I'm going to have a little smaller, but each side is probably like this big, you know. Um, so I'll do a house on one side and this on the other. Like I'll just split this into two sections and do it and then on the top the whole top of the mailbox will just be sky with clouds I think it's going to be cool I have a painted mailbox now that I did years ago but it's kind of broken I mean it's lasted like 20 years but the, the clip doesn't clip anymore and so we got this really strong one this time and um, so yeah I'm looking forward to uh, that maybe I'll take you with me on that I'm gonna we're just gonna sand it down and metal prime it, spray it with a metal primer. Um, and I'm sure it's already primed because it's out, it's supposed to be out in the weather all the time, but um, because I'm painting on it, I don't know. I just want the paint to adhere because right now it's really shiny. And then I'm gonna paint it. And you know what, maybe I should I wonder if I should try and do this mixed. I don't think I'm going to do a mixed media background. I think I'm just going to do, but it looks so cool. I kind of want to do a mixed media background and have it textural and stuff, but we'll see. I might not be able to, um, we'll see, we'll see. All right, you guys, I just wanted to touch base. Um, I am just... I don't know, I haven't felt that inspired lately to do a specific thing. So hopefully something will come to me. And if not, I'll just be sharing um, my mailbox with you guys. All right, and maybe I'll do a face. I think I'll do a face with you too when I get my colors, my Neo Color 2s. All right, thanks for watching.